What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another episode of my Madden 15 Ultimate Team Budget Series. And today guys, the position that we're going to be taking a look at is free safety. Now, just to let you guys know, I am also going to be putting out a strong safeties episode here this afternoon. Wanted to separate the two and the reason for it is because I started to realize that the video was getting a little bit long the first time that I recorded it. So we kind of, I just kind of decided that it would be better if I separated it versus putting in a 25 minute video for you guys. So hopefully Hopefully you understand. Check them out separately from one another. And of course, if you want to see any of the other positions that we've done, you can go ahead and look in the description below. I have a link to the playlist that contains the other positions. I'll also pop up an annotation here for you guys to take a look at, and uh, that should take you to it so that you can go ahead and build your team on a budget. So guys, the like I said, the position that we're going to be looking at today is free safety. And the first thing that we really need to look at as we do on every episode is the actual attributes that we're going to be comparing. So we have a lot of them here for safety because there's a lot that goes into safeties, obviously. So the very first thing that we're going to look at, speed, acceleration, strength, awareness, play recognition, catching, zone coverage, man coverage, tackling, hit power, block shed, and pursuit. Now, each one of these attributes has their own advantages, uh, you know, depending on what you like to do with your safeties. If you leave them on coverage a lot, if you bring them out to the line to make tackles, kind of depends on what you like to do. So what I decided to do was actually break these up into three different categories. We're going to have a coverage free safety, a hit power free safety, and then kind of a user controlled free safety for those of you that like to user control them. So first ones here, as you can see, coverage. On the left-hand side of your screen, we have Hussein Abdullah, the football outsider's item. That is an 85 overall item. And then on the right-hand side, we're going to be comparing it to Jairus Bird, the elite free safety, 89 overall. He's going for about 45,000 coins. Abdullah only going for 5,000 coins, so nine times the price. Now, we are going to be comparing these two directly to one another. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that the items on the left are going to be better than the items on the right, but for the price, you might be getting a better value. So that's really what we're looking for today. All these free safeties that you're going to be looking at are below 5,000 coins. So that's a pretty good value. Um, you should be able to find them for at least somewhere around 5,000, no matter what console you're on. It might be a little bit more depending on the day and that kind of thing. But anyway... First things first, we kind of have to look and see, like I said, which things are most important to you. Now, for me, I typically don't user control my free safety that often. So I typically look for a guy who has some decent attributes as far as the coverage things go. So, you know, first of all, we have to really look at the... Uh, the actual zone coverage and man coverage. Now, Jairus Bird is going to have a 93 zone coverage. That's pretty awesome. That's one of the better free safeties that you're going to find. Um, Hussein Abdullah, though, still really good at an 88 overall. And then their man coverage is something that I found to be pretty interesting. Hussein Abdullah actually has a 76, whereas Jairus Bird is in at a 72. So that's pretty interesting. Those attributes are fairly low for Jairus Bird uh, as far as the man coverage goes. But you know, for the most part, you're typically going to find your safeties in zone coverage. So I don't typically look at man coverage as much as I do zone coverage. That's just the way that I play it anyway. Um, then you look at the hit power and the hit power on these two items. Jairus Bird, very, very low at just a 60, whereas you, you see Hussein Abdullah up here at an 82. Way higher in hit power. Now, again, these aren't your actual hit power items. I'm going to show you specific ones that go into the hit power category, in my opinion. But it is worth noting that Hussein Abdullah is better at hit power. He's also better at block shedding and pursuit. So he is going to be better at just purely going after the running back in run coverage or hitting guys going over the middle when they actually make their catches. So that's something to consider. But again, we are really looking at these as being coverage. So to me... I look at the zone coverage. I think that Hussein Abdullah is still very good at an 88. And then he's also only one lower in catching, which I thought was pretty interesting. He's an 80 catching, which is very, very high for a safety. That's going to be the second highest only to Jairus Bird at an 81 out of all the safeties that we look at, both in free safeties and strong safeties. So very good attribute there for Hussein Abdullah. He's going to get you a lot of interceptions, whereas... You know, if you've seen any of my gameplay videos, a lot of my safeties tend to drop too many picks and it pisses me off. So this is definitely one where he is not going to drop nearly as many interceptions as other players do. Now, 
the one area where you're going to find that these lower overall items typically are lower in attributes is play recognition and awareness. And that's something that's going to be very common no matter really what position that you look at, especially on defense, of course, because play recognition doesn't really matter for offense. But um, awareness and play recognition on defense, those two attributes tend to get boosted up on the higher overall items pretty much every single time. It's not, I guess I shouldn't say it's every single time, but I would say probably 90 to 95% of the time you're going to see if, if an item's higher overall, it's going to have higher awareness and play recognition. So you really have to determine how much of those attributes actually matter. It's really hard to determine that. Um, I, I haven't been able to figure out a way to actually say whether or not, you know, which one matters more on defense and also you know, how, just how much do they matter? It's very hard to determine that. What I will tell you is that I, my personal opinion, what I've found is that zone coverage and, uh, and that kind of attribute tends to matter a little bit more than awareness and play recognition do. So I, I tend to disregard play recognition and awareness in favor of zone coverage and some of the other things that I find to be more important personally. Um, the other thing to look at here, of course, your speed and acceleration. Hussein Abdullah has 90 speed and he still has the same acceleration as Jairus Bird at a 92. So he is going to be faster because Jairus, or yeah, Jairus Bird only has an 88 speed. Not a terrible speed attribute by any means, but it's not particularly great either. So to me, I like I said, I personally think that if you're looking for a budget-free safety that is good in coverage, Hussein Abdullah is going to do a great job with that. Now, he might get beat every once in a while on some play actions or things like that because he's got lower awareness and play recognition, but for the most part, he's going to do a very, very good job for you, and for 5,000 coins, it's pretty hard to beat that. Next on the list, we have Mike Mitchell, and we're going to be comparing him up against Ryan Clark. Now, Mike Mitchell was one of my favorite budget series players from Madden 25, so it's not that surprising to me that I'm seeing him again here in Madden 15. Now, these items are actually your hit power safeties that we're going to be comparing. So these guys have higher than average hit power. As you're going to see, Mike Mitchell, 93 hit power awesome attribute there. He is going to do some work going over the middle on safeties or on, on receivers as a safety when he hits them. Brian Clark still very, very good at a 92 hit power. Nothing to complain about there. Um, an awesome attribute overall for both these guys at 92 and 93. You're not going to find very many better items. But again, Ryan Clark, your 89 overall free safety uh, is an elite. And then your Mike Mitchell road to the playoffs gold item, only an 84 overall. But my personal opinion, again, these items are a lot closer than what they look like. Um, obviously, you've got your speed differences here. Mike Mitchell's one lower in both speed and acceleration, so he's going to be a little bit slower. He's four lower in strength, not su super substantial here. Then in zone coverage, they're the same at an 83, and in man coverage, Mike Mitchell's only one lower. So for the most part, these items are very, very close to one another as far as the pure coverage attributes go. Uh, speed and acceleration as well, very, very close to one another. Tackling, they're one difference. Hit power, they're one difference. Block shedding, they're exactly the same. Pursuit, Mike Mitchell's three higher, so that's nice. He's a little bit better as far as run support goes. But for the most part, guys, these items are very, very, very close to one another. The only major difference between these two is awareness and play recognition. Like I mentioned before, awareness and play recognition, it's just it's tough to find items that are low uh, priced that have high awareness and play recognition. There just aren't very many out there. And if they, if they are high on awareness and play recognition, then they're super slow or they have no zone coverage or something like that. So you kind of are going to find something in every one of these cheaper items that's not as good. That's just the way that it is. Unfortunately, there's there's really no way of making it so that all the items or all the attributes are great and the item is still cheap. So we kind of have to sacrifice in one or two areas. And I tend to sacrifice in awareness and player recognition just because for the most part to me, those things are kind of overrated. I just I typically look at them and I don't think that they're as important as some of the other attributes. So you kind of have to look and see what's important to you and what isn't. But uh, again, for me, awareness, play recognition are probably the two things that I care least about out of all these attributes, maybe other than man coverage, because I don't usually use my free safeties in man coverage. But it also is worth noting, by the way, that Mike Mitchell is five higher in catching. So he is going to get more interceptions than Ryan Clark, which is pretty nice. It's a nice little bonus. So then uh, the last items that we want to take a look at today are ones that I, like I men mentioned before, these are your user controlled free safeties. 
Now, the difference between these items and the other ones that we've been looking at are that we don't care about quite a few of these attributes when we're user controlling our safeties. So, just for example, awareness, play recognition, zone coverage, man coverage, and pursuit. All of those things are completely irrelevant when we're talking about actually when you user control a safety. They're all things we don't care about because we're going to be user controlling that player. We're the one who makes the decision. So awareness and play recognition, that's us. Even if their awareness was 99, it makes no difference if it's 0 or 99 as far as when you're user controlling a safety. Same thing with play recognition, same thing with pursuit. All of those things completely have to do with you user controlling them. So again, when you're user controlling them, what we care about, speed, acceleration, strength, tackling, catching, hit power, and block shedding. So now when we look at the speed, same speed, 93 speed between Steve Atwater, 97 overall, probably the best free safety in this game, in my personal opinion, overall. And he's the same speed as, as Leron Landry, who's just an 82 overall gold item. Now, he is going to be a little bit quicker overall because he does have that four acceleration boost. So he is a little bit quicker with uh, 93 Excel versus Leron Landry's 89 Excel. But that doesn't really make that much of a difference overall, in my personal opinion. Um, you know, it, it's, it is a little bit different, but, you know, it's, it's not that substantial. Now, Leron Landry, 91 strength. 91 strength. Holy cow, that's crazy. Now, that strength attribute goes into play with a lot of different things. Um, you know, everything from when you go up for a ball trying to swat it away, do you have the strength to swat it away over a, a, over another player? Um, it, it also matters when you engage in blocks. If you are able to uh, get away from blocks and that kind of thing, it matters with bringing down your stronger running backs and tackling. All of that kind of stuff makes a difference. So he's got 91 strength, one of the highest attributes that you're going to find for really any player other than like defensive and offensive line. And that's not particularly surprising if you've ever actually seen Leron Landry. The dude looks like he should be in a freaking bodybuilding competition rather than in, in the NFL. But uh, of course, that of, of course does help him with that 91 strength. So he is substantially higher than Steve Atwater there. He also has 99 hit power. 99 hit power, guys. He is going to destroy people as they go over the middle. Absolutely murder them. And his block shedding is 74 as well. Um, it, both of those attributes higher than Steve Atwater, not substantially higher. One higher in hit power and two higher in block shedding. But huge boosts there as far as like the strength and that kind of stuff goes. So, I mean, you're, you're really comparing two items that are very close to one another when your user controlling them. And that's really what I always look at. Um, I try to find the items that if I'm going to be someone that user controls my safeties every play, I want to make sure that I have items that are going to take advantage of the abilities that I have. So things like speed and hit power and strength and, and all those type of things are hugely important. And I think that's something that Leron Landry is really good with. The only area where I really think that Leron Landry slacks in is he only has 72 for tackling which is just crazy if you think about it. He's got 99 hit power but 72 tackling. Okay then, I guess. Um I don't I don't know what where they came up with that number, but uh that is a low attribute for a safety that's that's not a good number. But what I will tell you is that for the most part, you're going to when you're user controlling your safeties, you're going to come up and you're going to use your hit stick to hit guys. So what's being engaged there is your hit power attribute, not really your tackling. So that is something to think about. Uh, to me, I don't really worry about it that much. Um, I, I t definitely would say that to me, Leron Landry for 2,000 coins versus Steve Atwater at 100,000 coins. If you're user controlling these players, the price difference between these 50 times price difference is just not worth it to make the upgrade to Steve Atwater if you're going to user control them. But again, of course, the minute that you don't user control these players, if you if you are using a Leron Landry... It's going to be really, really a big difference between him and Steve Atwater because there's a huge difference between things like your uh, play recognition, your awareness, your zone coverage, your man coverage. All of those type of things are substantially higher for Steve Atwater. The last thing that is a little bit of a disappointment for Leron Landry is that he only has a 52 catching attribute. That is very, very low for a safety. So he is not going to get very many interceptions. That's just the honest truth about it. That's the one thing that really frustrates me about this item. 
um, whereas Steve Atwater is going to be able to get you quite a few interceptions with his 77 catching. Not that 77 catching is like the best that you're going to find out of any safety, because we just saw in, in the, the first slide with the coverage safeties, both those guys had higher than a 77 when, with catching, but it's still good enough that he's going to be able to get a decent amount of interceptions for you. So guys, with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. If you learned something, smash that like button for me. Help me grow this channel if you guys would. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, if you guys want to see some of the other positions that we have done before when we compare these items and we're, we're looking at the best budget items in this game, go ahead and look at the playlist in the description below. You will find I've done wide receivers, running backs, uh, linemen, uh, offensive linemen, defensive linemen. We've done a ton of different things. So go ahead and look at that, guys. You're going to find some good information on all of those as well. Thank you so much for watching. I, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.